Legend of Total War here with part 1.3 of my Medieval 2 roleplay Let's Play campaign as uh, Pope Gregory the Mauler, or of the, the Papal States. So I think this will be the final episode in terms of Pope Gregory's life. He's only got maybe five to six years left to live. Anyway, so just a little bit of a recap on what's happened. Uh, we've managed to secure Northern Italy and we've taken out uh, the Kingdom of Sicily. However, the Moors, in our running around all over the place, have captured uh, Ajaccio, I don't know if it's pronounced that way, uh, Cagliari, and Tunis. So after we've taken Bologna away from the Holy Roman Empire, who refused a fine for, of course, blockading my ports, um, we will be heading back down this way to, um, to retake these settlements. I think Palermo can defend itself because we've got good quality units here that are recruiting at a reasonable rate. But we're under attack from both the Moors and the Byzantine Dark Empire. Come face me. Anyway, so we're just about at the end of this turn. Is there anything else I can do? Can maybe build something down here? Nope, I think. Right, let's move on. Ah, oh, whoops, I forgot to do something. Need to move those other troops back into, um, into Florence. Shouldn't matter, I mean, it's under control. We are under siege! Defend the walls with your lives! So, man, those Inquisitors, they want to get rid of Agnes. Not really my first choice. I'd really go for, um, Imperial Spies, personally. All good. Alright, so let's see what else is going on. Alright, so we're getting ready to attack Bologna. It's going to be a bit of a difficult fight, I think. But um, I'm confident we'll come out on top. I think our, our soldiers are better than his. And the prize is, you know, kick, not only kicking the, the Imperials out of Italy, hopefully once and for all, but also gaining a, a fairly rich city, securing all of Italia. Of course, don't know how long we'll hold it. Name the At least some of you have got night battle. We will meet you there. No. Okay. So, can we one. repel we this? We should be able to. We march to battle. Not too much in terms of losses. They are fellow Christians, but they're orthodox, so send them a ransom. Blessed Lord, we thank you for the We will not okay, surrender. We shouldn't have to deal with reason. them for a little while. And we've generated some experience by merging those, so that's good. And let's retrain our troops. Actually, it, it might be better off if we. Actually, financially, we're not in really great shape. So, yeah, just retrain them. So, you're doing a very good job of defending Palomo. Um, it's or face the might of Islam. It seems more or less the same size. Obviously, these troops here do cost a bit in upkeep. Alright, let's stop um, Orders, procrastinating. We've got to get on to this. We will engage them honorably, my lord. So they outnumber us by a small margin. Now, with an army of this size, sneaking into the city is not an option. When you're up against an army of this size inside of a settlement, there's really one, only one option that works, and that is brute force. To hopefully break the defences of the gate, at the walls there, and to catch them on the route while they're trying to get to the town square. Now, we do have a lot of crossbowmen, which aren't really going to come in that useful. So what are we going to do? Okay, might be, get the crossbowmen on the ramps. Papal guard need to go up on the ladders. Actually, you know what? We'll put the ladders up close to the wall, but not actually go up on the wall. Everything is going to be trying to go through the front gate, I think. Get the knights ready. 
as for these ones here, I'm not too sure what we're going to do with them right now, but I will let them fire at will. If they fire over here at an angle, maybe they might do some damage. So yeah, bring them up to the wall, just to make them think we're actually going to come up on the wall. It's just deception. As soon as the gate's down, we're going to bash through here. I'm going to just punch through as hard as I can. And try and break them. Because Emperor Heinrich is not a great commander. So we should be able to terrify these guys if we, if we throw enough force at them. Peasant archers up there, so maybe I will do this. These guys up there. Stop them from shooting. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. Get that ram in there. It's good they're trying to aim for this ram here. That's what I've been looking for. Soak the gate with the battering ram. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. Almost down. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. The battle is in right, our favor. Now we send the cavalry in. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory terrified. Just ours. punch right through all this crappy town militia here. Get round their back. And make it run straight for the town square. Which will force these guys off the walls. There we go. We've got some units routing. There we go. Cut right through them. Punch right through. Good. Pull through. Soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. That's it. Come on. You're terrified them and capture them. So this is what we want. So it's causing a mass rout. Right. Run them down. Don't let them get away. Problem with the cavalry, they're just getting a bit, a little bit stuck. Yeah, don't worry about them. Everyone off the walls. We're going for the town square. Like I said, brute force is going to win us today here. So it's going exceptionally well. Look at all those captives. Okay, now, pull the cavalry back here. They've done the best they possibly can there. They're not going to get any further through through him. Now it's the spearman's job. Okay, drop this. It's time for you guys to get into the gate here. Up on the walls.
not fighting for the walls anymore, so it doesn't matter. Kick it over here. Okay, where do we go next? What are you, what are you fighting? Has an archer, so I'll get rid of it. Good, that's a, that's a lot of men captured. It is unwise ooh, ooh, ooh. to praise the day before sunset, but our men oh, are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. They come round here, round their back, into their rear. Don't worry about this unit here. Just ignore it. Okay, the Pope, you come over here and of course provide your troops with blessings and whatever the fuck else you want to do. What's in the rear here? It's just, just uh, melee infantry. It's okay. Get organized here. You're not going to be able to charge into their rear. Well, we'll just put pressure on them like a vice and squash them from both sides. You're not going back to the town square. Nope. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Don't let them pass. Not a single one of them allowed to get past here. But even with, with the Emperor presence right there, they're still chicken shit cowards. Too many Only to half the enemy force remains. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be fighting. Oh shit. Pincer from both sides there. Should have accepted you fine, it was only 2,000. It's just not, it was not much, considering how much you've done against me. Wouldn't have had to give up any territories, but now you're going to die, and you're not going to get Bologna back. Okay, the cavalry at this point is not that much use to us, so send them. The enemy king lies Good. dead, slain by our brave soldiers. Send them Attack back over here. While his men mourn their loss. To get rid of these guys, so we got crossbowmen fighting in melee. And these guys here finished off the job. These guys need to go all the way around to the side here. Hopefully they don't come down this way. Yeah, they probably will. So that we can shoot into this this one here's flank. The 
fighting between spearmen happened really slowly. Sending the cavalry in to fight here is pointless. Their job is to break the enemy units and they can't do that there. It is unwise to praise the and day look at these crossbows sunset, rip right through them. our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. My lord, our men have taken control of the city. This is a clear victory that, went that goes to only well. men of great virtue. If I had tried to sneak around, all my sneaky units would have just been caught. There was no way to sneak into that. Brute force was the way to go. God has granted his faithful this victory. Our courage has prevailed. These lands are yours, my lord. Yeah, whatever. So, in this we have gained quite a decent settlement. Increasing our income by 1600. Now, for they want peace, it's time for the reconciliation. Now, I'm willing to offer this without a fine because you've lost your settlement. You've, you've paid your, your dues now. What if I gave you trade rights as well? No. You, you you need to work towards your relationship with the Pope now. Nein, this is not likely to happen. Fuck. Another proposition for the Reich? This is a generous offer. Alright, what if I... Oh, hang on, they're not going to accept this unless I offer... Just offer them a quick gift. I doubt it's something more beneficial, I hope. And we'll offer them map information and trade rights. That's a very generous offer. Well, it's not very generous, it's just generous. I doubt the Kaiser of this was hardly worth yeah, the time. I don't know. Maybe it's because you suck as a diplomat. But if they don't want to accept peace, maybe we should go out here and, um, and take Innsbruck. Maybe then they'll ex listen to reason. That's a, that's a good settlement to take, too controlling the Alps. There's three, you know, it controls the pass into Italy to a large degree. We put a fort here, which we technically don't own this territory, but if we put a fort there and there, we've controlled northern access into Italy apart from, you know, th there are a few ways into Italy, but I'm going to control as many of them as I can. Alright. See what we can shuffle around a little bit. Orders. Yes. Sign to be retrained. Your Majesty. Yes. Okay, they need to be retrained. They have to be retrained in Rome. Your Majesty. He really didn't lose that many yes. soldiers. Your Majesty. Orders. Your Majesty. Didn't lose much at all. Okay. Now, as I've said before, we do need to come down here and, and defeat the Moors. Is it not obvious I am your foe, infidel? Leave me be, infidel. Empty. I think the Germans at this stage here have suffered enough of a beating. If they send armies down in here, then I will I will take the Imperial Castle of Innsbruck's, Innsbruck away from them. But I'll keep offering them peace. I think it was a pretty generous Perhaps offer. I can help. What is it, our slender? More lies. Your orders, right, we, can, we can pick up more troops. We would see you oh, dead, else. heathen. Yes. Okay, so I think we've got enough crossbowmen. So some more papal guard. Well, there's plenty here. Yes. Yeah, what we need is the fleet to be ready to attack the Jejio war. 
however it's fucking pronounced. Yes, my lord. Need the papal fleet to be ready. And we don't have any more money to do anything with. Uh, at least our income's increased, obviously, thanks to capturing Bologna. We need these taxes up higher. Suppose we've got enough to recruit another unit here. It'll have free upkeep, so that's okay. Yeah, can't see anything else to do. Let's move on. Hang on. Orders. You can stay in there. Move out. Again. An order. Speak with the Danes. Is there something I can do for you? Do not think. You have no, uh, no. another proposal then? I suppose we can agree to these terms if we must. All Our right. talks cool. seem pointless. No, we don't want peace with the Moors. I need to take back. What they've gained. They're, they would never accept a peace treaty, considering they, they probably think they're winning. Well, let's change their mind about the situation. Moving on. And of course, since they're not Catholic, you can't just offer to reconcile them, which is actually quite valuable. Because, like, a ceasefire with the, um, with the Holy Roman Empire is considered very demanding, but I offer reconciliation, suddenly it goes up to a generous offer. The enemy lays siege, my lord, but God is with us. To the wall. Really? I have to go back and deal with fucking rebels, do I? Uh, sure. And we didn't get anywhere near as much as I said we'd get. Oh, that's probably why, because, um, because we, I was going to say because we keep recruiting, but it's not very many. Doc is cheap. Come face me. We would see you dead, heathen. See, I, I really don't want to double back. Your Majesty. Maybe you go back here On to work. retrain. Your orders, number they'll one. go back over here and we'll yes. take this out. God will be with us, men. To battle! A most honorable victory, my noble That gives Lord. us more time to, uh, yes. to raise a larger fleet. And we are just low on cash, aren't we? Alright, so... If we were to sally forth here... We will engage them honorably, my lord. I think we'd win because we've got high quality units. Good. Rats yes. in them. And they have nowhere to go. That's it. More experience around there. But I, I can't retrain them. Don't have enough money. Yes, my lord. Prepare to board and engage! Sunk them all. Very nice. Our fleet is victorious. And that'll increase our money, our income. Not in course now, my lord. That's good. Someone to see? We do not trust you, so this had best be good. Nine, this is... You still won't accept it. Disappointing. Why bother? Yeah, they suck. It's alright. Um. Yes. There's not a large army at Zagreb. And of course, I'm spending quite a lot on this. I'm just thinking if we should head over here and try and take this now. Noble Would be a good idea if we have just a quick look to see if they've got anything way. else.
Naturally, my lord. Today, your orders, number one. Your majesty. It's not the largest army. I'll take this as yes. well. And this. Just leave one unit behind. We shall continue at first light. Your orders, number one. Okay, it should be fine. Let's move on. Oh, come on, Spain. Get it. What are you doing here? Seriously, you don't even border me. Your orders, number one. Orders. God will be with us, men. To battle! A most honorable victory, my Is it not okay, obvious? Yeah, we're going to keep bringing forces over here, so we need to get rid of this. With God's blessing and yours, we God has granted his faithful this victory! If they were to attack us, they'll lose. Your orders, noble one. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Blessed lord. I'm wasting too much time dealing with this shit. Yes, my lord. Name the field. Is it just me, or do we not move particularly far? Talk is cheap. Come face me. Pretty small army. I keep forgetting to listen to general speeches as well, so I definitely should have listened to that one. Your orders, noble one. Barbara Silva, probably don't need to worry too much about attacking him. God will be with us, men! To battle! Without question, we shall begin the siege. Besieging forces yeah. reporting my Try and offer them peace, they don't want it. On my way. Today's journey to someone to see. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Okay, what yes. I want to do is send you over here, because I just don't want to deal with this. We will engage anyway. them honorably, oh, my lord. Fucking loser. We are beaten. Let God fill you with courage and regroup. Jesus Christ. For fuck's sake. Oh, these Name damn the rebels. Alright, looks today. like the Pope's gonna actually Your have orders, to deal with this himself. One. God will be with us, men. It's just auto resolve is so unreliable. Be ready to give all Even with a general. I mean they did the, the units did have some experience, so I guess that's to be expected. Right, they'll head back to Milan next turn, it'll be fine. I doubt they'll even get close to our crossbows, just let that shoot at them. These guys here need to be retrained as well. Yeah, definitely do not skirmish. Keep shooting. Even if they come here, it's not going to do anything. I mean, it's just spearmen. Just keep shooting. enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. See, I told you there was nothing to worry about there. The enemy... This is a clear... Oh, oh, oh. God has granted his faithful... Oh boy. Okay, so that was, that was hell of a detour, so we need to get back over here. Yes. Just 
thinking. Um, I mean, we, we do need to keep investing in our settlements. I haven't done any construction in a little while. Okay, we can increase taxes here. I think we should send these guys on the reinforcements. I'm going to send three of them. Because this guy here, this one, is going to go here. And we'll meet them at the port of Florence. At Your Florence. orders, noble one. Yes. Your majesty. March. Closing to engage, my lord. Victory. Yes, and my lord. be reinforced from there. With some more ships. Your orders, noble one. Okay, we still got a little bit of money left over. So yeah, you can over here. Make camp, men. We rest Jeez, here. It doesn't seem like it gets much movement. I really need to build up the roads here, I guess. Okay, what about the mines? Yeah, there's a little bit of money from that. We'll go with it. What is there, silver? Uh, I can't even see where any of the resources are. I suppose it'll just pop up. But where is it? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so... Okay, um... Well, that's all I spent my money on. Got nothing left. Your orders, on. Noble one. I'm surprised not more of the, um, the Catholic nations joined the crusade. Yeah, this crusade's probably gonna fail. I'm not joining it though. Sending the Pope down there, or just anyone down there, would be a hell of a mistake. Your orders, noble one. Noble lord. Naturally, my lord. You can save Zagreb. We will listen, but... I cannot say we will agree. But they still don't want to. Keep suggesting things. Diplomacy fails. Your orders, noble one. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Oh. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. God be praised for blessing us so with The settlement victory. took a bit of a beating, but that's okay. This settlement's making some money, and if, if we can build some mines here, I believe there's quite a bit of gold. Might take us a little while to get back to full strength, but that's okay. Might be better off just merging them. Your orders, noble one. Yes. So how old is Gregory now? Fifty-eight. Line. So in two years. He'll get the uh, the old. He basically becomes an old man, at which point he could die at any time. So this is probably not going to be a full hour and a half long episode. God will be with us, men, to battle. A most honourable victory. Ah! God has granted his faithful this victory. You've been doing me a great job. Good, decent amount of money coming from Zagreb. It was worth the expedition to go over there. Your orders, no. So you'll get on here and said and be sent over here. Good. Alright, is there anything else I can do? Where are my Inquisitors? 
an honor. They seem to have disappeared. Doesn't matter. We'll get more. Moving on. Ah, the Hungarians are actually making their way to Koro. Not good for them, no. So, will you finally accept peace, or do I have to actually take this settlement away from you as well? How could you ask these of us? This meeting was worse than for an honor. What about you? State your business, wretched fiend. The Reich would nope. not have me. This was no, I don't know. Spent. Your orders, noble one. Boarding at once, noble lord. That's right, because you need to go orders. back. Move out. Your orders, noble one. Boarding at once, noble lord. Bless you, lord. Back on dry land. Your orders, number Alright, so we can send the cavalry up ahead, I think. One. Your Majesty. Orders. Splitting our forces. Okay, siege started. What's in here? God it's just one unit of desert cavalry, so it'll be easy orders. to deal with. Your orders? Plotting course now, my lord. Empshi! My master despises you! Hmm. Attacking on your command! Good. Our fleet is victorious! Full sail! You still need a better fleet because they, the enemy, they've. They've been sending a lot of ships this way. I mean, it's good that we're sinking so many of them, but. I don't know, they could send a big fleet one day. Alright. These forces. I don't know if they'll be disbanded, but. Um, we don't need them anymore. Now that we're putting the attack on to, to them again. So I want you to raise new forces to come down to Ragusa. You probably won't be able to win that in an outright siege. You'll have to, well, in an assault. You'll probably have to lay siege first. Well, what if we go over there now, lay siege, because they'll be able to recruit as well, and then we'll continuously just send reinforcements. Your orders, noble one. Your majesty. Yeah, that could work. Your orders, noble one. Of course, my lord. Orders. Um, I'd like to get into to fortress, but there's more economic things over here that I think I should focus on first. Let's, um, let's make Venice a large city. And that's pretty much all my money gone. Okay, moving on. You know, I try and be a good good Catholic Pope, offering peace to these, these fools. They just don't ever accept it. Oh, damn it. This is not good, Lord. What's wrong the with them? Have laid siege upon us. Should have recruited some more troops there. Looks like they actually abandoned Cairo. Well, the Crusade wins. Great, I suppose. Alright, so we've got five units in here, and they've got more than that. Come face me! I forgot to bring these guys back. Your orders, noble one. Your majesty. I don't think I can justify letting um, Genoa fall. Yep. So after we've taken this region here, instead of going onto the plan, move down to Cagliari, we'll have to come over here and, and lift that siege. Yes. 
Hopefully we'll still have that. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. We shall claim victory. I reckon just put a um, crossbowman up on the wall and shoot those guys. Hopefully they'll be within range. Let's have a look. If they go back to the town square, it'd be hard to actually reach them. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. The Moors have so far made quite a bit of profit by um, by being at war with us due to our own internal strife with other Catholic fa factions. So it's time for that to end. Half the enemy force remains. The enemy flees. This is a clear victory. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. Was well, controlled by Muslims, but I think it's majority Catholic yours, here still. Oh, it wasn't. I could have sacked that. Right, I need to be more careful. Like, next time I come down here and have a look. Like, it's still majority Catholic down here, but they did hold on to that for a lot longer. Spain has been excommunicated because they're just... Just fools, that's all I can say about them. Just absolute fools. What are they thinking? We'll need to hire another diplomat to try and negotiate peace with them. Your orders, number one. Orders. Yes. Your Majesty. Yes. Orders. Yeah, I should be able to recruit some troops here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Publico is easily maintained, so it's not a big deal yes. that we occupy. Plotting course now, my lord. Your orders, noble one. Orders. Bless you, lord. Back on dry land. So what have they got? Name the field of battle. We bit. will meet you there. Well, this needs to be properly repelled before we can continue yes. our um, attack down south. It's good. They, they built it up a little bit for us as well, so that's not so bad. But that being said, we would have would have been much more profitable to hold it and build it ourselves. Your orders, noble one. Of course, my lord. We shall continue at first light. Again, we'll offer so you peace. We will listen, but... I cannot say we will agree. They still don't want it. They're no. bankrupt. You more I wonder how many settlements they've got there. Let's have a look. So if we look at Venice. Territorially, they've actually got three settlements. So they, they must have expanded out this way somewhere. Yeah, they own Sofia. Doesn't matter. We'll take this off them and then just deal with whatever comes. You know, originally I didn't want to have like loads and loads of settlements. I wanted to just hold like a handful and but help the other Catholic lords conquer like the Islamic world. But they're so fucking belligerent. They just come straight for the Pope every single time. Of course, it's not necessarily that they're thinking I'm gonna kill the Pope. It's I'm gonna kill the player. Because generally speaking, like the Pope doesn't get attacked by the AI if the Pope is AI controlled. Usually, most of the time. But so far, we haven't started any of these wars here, I don't think. Your orders, Which is very rare one. for me, because I'm always starting wars. Your orders, number one. Alright. 
Cool. You know, I just realized I probably could have had these guys join up with that army. Your orders, noble one. Greetings, honored lord. Your majesty. I don't think we need that much yes. defense in Italy, so I'll send it back. March! Your Majesty. Move out! Okay, got a little bit of cash. What shall we build? Their income's gone up by a bit. Let's move on. Leave nothing. Raise the defenses and go. Okay, where did he go? Your orders, noble one. Because yeah, he's he's not bad at all. I'd like to make him a governor of somewhere. I think Naples is a good choice. Oh, you're probably not going to win that. Do not dishonor Rome, yourselves, you. men. Your orders, noble one. Or we'll send him. With God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. Ah! Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. Onward. Okay, it was it was ready to grow into a huge city, but I might actually just send him down order, here instead. Number one. Of course, my can look after this. So now we can get a huge city, a uh, large city. Uh, increased taxes, what I mean to say. We're number one in everything except financially. Your orders, number one. Talk so they've G. united their forces here. Me. Your orders, number one. God will be with us, man. Can't have the Spanish army sitting here. It's kind of I weird that they would come all this way over here to attack Lord. us. Your orders, number one. We will engage them honorably, my lord. It's kind of a major battle. Let's listen God to the speech this time. faithful prevail. We attack. So hopefully, with this. We can make our way down south without any more bloody pricks attacking us. It is not my way to send men into needless peril during battle. If I ask something of you, it is necessary, and I will not expect more of you than I would ask of myself. I have found that just orders are readily obeyed, and victory is the result. Your Spanish enemies are proud, perhaps too proud. In this place I mean to see them humbled and cut down to size. We'll see how these over-proud Iberians like the cut and thrust of battle against real men. With God's good graces, we shall strike down a quarter of our enemy's army today. Courage will be our watchword. Despair! Theirs! And at the last... Look, do you want a fight? I could be raising a goblet or eight, don't you know? in our usual fashion. Okay, we'll have the mailed knights on the left flank, the knights hosp hospitaller on the right. Pope Gregory. I think he's actually Pope Gregory the Seventh. But whatever. As far as this campaign is concerned, he's the first. Okay, they're not coming towards us. 
so we need to go to them. Gained a slight high ground. Looks like these guys are coming in. Fire. Not a lot of units, but it's a good start to kill them. Just Jeanette's, they're not going to come in close range. I said nothing we go to die. See, they come charging in there to try and make a skirmish. You have to hold your ground. Those feudal knights. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. Right, well, but I saw the charge our men me. are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Glorious heaven above. Battle's over. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Give the dog some wine and praise the Almighty. Our Capture enemy them. has lost this. And I'll consider maybe a ransom. Of course, we don't execute them. This is a quarter of Spain's armies, but also, do they have a friendly territory from which to to go back to? Could be worth a significant ransom though. Now guy's not really a bastion of chivalry, so these guys are now excommunicated. This is a clear Absolutely crush them. And you know, they're stopping us from dealing with Moors. Well, it doesn't matter, they have nowhere to go, so they're dead anyway. Good Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. Your orders, you don't stay out in the open world. Bless you, Lord. Your orders? Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Damage is insignificant. Good. So now, hopefully, we can continue our planned invasion. There's no any more distractions. That would be great. Your orders, oh, look at this. One. Okay. What we'll do, we'll send you around to here. Oh, right, I see. I can't push my own agent out of the way. An order. On this is your last we chance. You will waste until we our time. go but for it. How could you ask these is your orders, okay. noble one. You should stay in yes. here. Besiege the settlement, don't let them get back. Yes, your orders, noble one. God will be with us, men. To battle! God has granted his faithful this victory. Your orders, noble one. He's not going to be able to do anything in this battle. Now, do you have night fighter by any chance? No. Well, that's okay. If we can send the bulk of our forces around here to push them away yet again, they won't get involved in this. I mean, easy order resolve. Your orders? I've been idea to send a ship now, in by admiring the enemy. The, it could get sunk. I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, got some cash. What are we gonna build? 
I'd like to upgrade to huge stone walls, but we just don't have the money. Right, save that for something a bit more important. So I think we can have three free upkeep. I'd much prefer the Italian spear militia. If you ever look at the stat differences, it's it's pretty different. And be, these are quite a significant bit better than Italian militia. Your orders, noble one. All right, let's move on. Greetings. I come sure, bearing that's... word for you today. Very, Very much nice. acceptable. You do not realize how much we appreciate this. And as a gesture of goodwill, here's map information in return. Yes, your time was most valuable. We thank you. Name the field of battle. Yeah. We, will I feel like we should get rid of them, but. We're a little bit busy. Yes, my lord. For they are blocking sale. the trade route between the two. Thing is, though, whenever you get rid of one rebel army, another one shows up somewhere else. So I usually don't bother too much about dealing with rebels. There's Your other orders, threats, so let's deal with that. At once, lord. This is a course we cannot plot. Really? You, you can't step on them because there's a priest there. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk and stay out in the open water. I don't Dropping think there's enough now, ships man. out here to be able to, to stop until us. Morning. And even if they do, they won't sink us in a single attack. Good. Now that we're making a bit of money, definitely a good time to uh, reinvest it all into these settlements. So Venice is now a large city, that's good, it can actually hold um, the free unit in upkeep. Ah oh, right, I've got Your this to orders, do. If we were to attack that with this guy's reinforced, if I was to fight it manually, it'd be easy. But we're not fighting this manually. I did make siege wounds, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, so we just need to leave one guy behind. Forces reporting, my lord. Your orders, number one. Orders. Okay. As you wish. Forming. Yes. Now, although he can't make the attack, yes, lord. Close in come in his reinforcements. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Noble Lord, we have come. Your Majesty. Your orders, Noble One. And there we go. We took it without really that much bloodshed. Of course, these need to be repaired. Once again, Noble we'll offer them the peace treaty. Did you expect us to be happy to see you? No, you must diplomacy You're just a fool. This day. So I want you to head down to Spain. Actually, let's have a look at Spain. So they're only war with us. They're not. It's weird that they're not fighting the Moors. How old is the Pope now? Your orders. Well, he could die at any moment. Once they've reached sixty, that's basically death's door. We won't get another episode out of him. That's for sure. out of cash so there's not much else I can do. Let's move on. Ah uh, right of course they've got um, Crete as well. So Crusade failed so I guess that means that they just gave up on it. It's weird. Because they were excommunicated. 
Why? Why were they excommunicated? I have no... An honor. No problems with uh, the Hungarians. Oh, right. We're at war with the Byzantines down here, so I guess we should go and take Durazzo. We will listen, but I cannot say we will agree. How could your damage than good? So I'll go over here and offer them on my way. reconciliation. We're not at war with them, so it's not a problem. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. With God's blessing and so yours, we back. march to Hungary. Your orders, number one. God will be with us, men. To battle! God has granted his... Yeah, whatever they are, they are still Catholics. Yeah. I mean, just to this We thank you for delivering us. Okay, so we're going to need some reinforcements out here. Armored sergeants would be good. As we head down to attack these guys who haven't really caused us... Uh, I guess they are actually causing us some grief. Fucking shit. God will be with us, men. To battle! God has granted a couple of turns you want to send a small army. If you're gonna send an army, send a proper one. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. So yeah. I think it might be a bit better idea. Recruit some more troops because there's another Moorish army here. Yes. Is it not obvious I am your fall, infidel? Okay, you can easily push that out of the way, but Actually yeah, we should. Prepare to board and engage! Victory! Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. Your orders, number one. We'll besiege it next turn. Hopefully you're still alive by then. Good, we've got some money here that we can, we can spend. What do we want? Population growth here wouldn't be a bad thing. And we can increase taxes here as well, so that's good. I really want that, but we just... Hang on, um... What if we cancel that there, and instead... Oh, I'm just a little bit shy of it. There you go. Your orders, number one. Good stuff. Moving on. Merchants get a Milan. Sounds good. So what year is it? So it's been about 20 years. Is that right? Yeah. At four turns per year. Sorry, sorry two turns per year. 20 years. So I'm still amazed you're alive. At 61 years old, you... Still alive and kicking it. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Without question, we shall begin the siege. Besieging forces reporting, my lord. God will be with us, right, men. Remove Kabat. Yeah. This guy's becoming a really good general. Of course, we've given him the tools with which victory, he needs to work with properly. Lord. Your orders, noble one. Yes, we shall continue at first light. Your Majesty. Yes, your orders. Mm. Let's yes, see if we can do it this way. Orders. Mark. Yes, yes my lord. Works. Yes, my. Your orders, noble one. Hmm. When it comes to order resolving, like these units here, don't really help that much. Um, armored sergeants is the way to go. Fortress here would be good. But I'm just thinking if there's still this. I mean, if we if we just don't spend any money this turn, we'd be able to buy that next turn. But it's not crucial. Oh, it gives us Swiss Guard as opposed to. So this gives us Papal Guard. I don't think I've ever seen Swiss Guard. Let me have a look at this. Interesting. But that would mean that the the Papal Guard would no longer be available. So these have higher melee defense. 
But these are halberdiers. They're also a lot cheaper. There's fewer of them. Interesting. Maybe they're only available in Rome? I don't know. Probably not. If we have a look at this, for example. Um, yeah, Swiss Guard. I kind of wish both were available. So, it's a shame to lose one to get the other. Since public order is a little bit of an issue, let's build City Hall. Okay. Maybe cancel that. It's not that important. These guys are constantly under attack, so they deserve to have the, their forces retrained. Your orders, number one. Your orders, number one. And let's move on. Splitting our forces. Uh, Pope Gregory the Mauler has died. Well, papal election time. So our choices are Portuguese, them or them. Obviously the Portuguese is, is the right choice. Because these two are both excommunicated, so fuck them. And thus ends the reign of Pope Gregory the Mauler. Um, I don't know if I'll do eulogies like I did in the in the other campaign, just because they were a bit of a pain in the ass to write. And you know, if I'm just to say a few things about what's his face, um, um, Pope Gregory. I mean, he never got himself into any danger. He, he basically conquered all of Italy while taking on multiple enemies. He's been it was as chivalrous as he could have been, never sacked any settlements, always occupied, never executed captives. Overall, wasn't a bad man, I suppose. And you know what? As far as popes go, he didn't rape any children, so I guess it wasn't so bad. So anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part two is next, beginning the reign of Pope Pope Alexius. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.